Hi there. Well, uh, apologies for this uh, little quick uh, video, but uh, or the sh a short. I'm going to try to make it, but I'll see how fast I can talk. Um, okay, I've got everything all lit up, everything all powered up, um, as in the last video I unboxed it. So there's the the, the little box that comes with some kind of um, Linux distribution in it, or Linux, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's the LAN and the EtherCAT connection and the power connection. That's my power supply chuffing out just over 24 volts. Um, it's quite a tolerant system. Um, here's the board, um, and it shows there, uh, you know, an output light there, which shows one of the status lights on the laser machine itself. You've got uh, a yellow, red, and a green, um, and at the moment that's showing yellow. Obviously, no motors connected at the moment because I need to get them. You know, we haven't got those in at the moment. Um, through my Mac 3 experience, uh, I've got the software up and running. There's an I/O monitor that comes with uh, that, that actually comes with. Sorry, I'm a bit short. Uh, that comes with the software, the 2D uh, cut ahead software, uh, and I've got a dummy. Here we go. I've got a dummy stop or input setup. This is just a, a rail that takes care of all the electrics. Now, remember I said I was going to tell you all the um, all the shit things that happen. Well, a shit thing has happened. The board itself, I'm not sure whether you can see it, has got COM1, COM2, and it's got zero volts down here. Now, I looked through the manual, I read the manual, and it said about how you tie in um, to your positive or your negative for uh, the... the the sensors, whatever they may be, whether they are switches, whether they are MPN or PMP, Hall Effect sensors, whatever. Now, I could not get this to work for love nor money because I see COM1, COM2, and think that is a common ground or a common negative or a common positive. I'm wrong. Very, very wrong. Uh, what that basically is, is that you need to power see that so we come through here there and then out of there that goes into the powering the board and out of there that goes to my power supply okay so you need to power at 24 volts and then and then the uh, the trigger wires here will actually show uh, something happening so you either tie it to ground or negative or you tie it to 24 volts they are not connected to anything this is a worthy point this took me two days to figure this out and uh, it's probably because I'm a slow Devonshire boy but point being it took me ages to sort this out and I could not get across with the guys at Skyfire um, their tech support which is brilliant by the way um, exactly what I was trying to achieve and they were saying, read the manual. Well, you look at the manual, the manual doesn't really tell you much of anything um, until you understand how it works. And then when you understand how it works, the manual makes perfect sense um, because in the manual itself, it does actually tell you. Uh, let me just see if I can find it a second. Here we go. So here's the contact switch. So if I want to use contact switch with, um, uh, sorry, high level connection, Let's go to this one. Um, you can see that there we've got the contact switch into a port. We have got the COM connections, and that is connected to the zero volts. Now, I thought that was an internal connection to my... I don't know why, but I just thought that was an internal connection, so it was always connected to zero volts. And then you've got the 24 volts, which then goes back to the switch. So, long story short, uh, my logical thinking did not pan out and the guys in China in Skyfire bless them that they tried their hardest I could show you the uh, uh, the, the message list but uh, it bore you to tears um, they couldn't understand what I was saying and I couldn't really understand what they were saying so there's a bit of a communication breakdown it's not as simple as it looks when you're used to Mac 3 and the breakout boards, you know, the bobs that you get with that. And, uh, you know, it is so blindingly obvious that, you you know, you tie your positives uh, or you tie your negatives. You put an inline resistor. You do all of that kind of stuff. Uh, this has got it kind of got it all built in. So to prove that it works, here is my 
Y plus stop. And if I press it, boop, on comes the light and off. On comes the light and off. So I'll get that in the same shot. There we go. So it's working. But I did not realize that I had to power those COM ports. Um, and of course, COM port in my world would mean a communications port. It's not that at all. It's common ground or common positive. So I'm not going to make this a super long video, but I just wanted to get this across that if you guys want to build one of these, this is the only thing that I've come across that's given me a massive headache. Uh, everything else fired up fine. I put, um, uh, you can see there's an HDMI output there. I put that on, which I discovered it was a Linux system of some sort. Uh, it says Windows on the box, but um, it's telling you porkies. Uh, it runs off 24 volts absolutely fine from the power supply. The, all of this is dead simple. I must wire in the earth because obviously that's quite important. Um, but only important once you start connecting it to the frame and to the laser head and what have you. Um, all the ports are pretty obvious. They are to the manual. That is the uh, sensor for the capacitive uh, height sensor for the laser head. Um, all of these are analog. These here are digital outs and digital ins. Um, sorry, they're all digital outs, and all these up through here are digital ins. I mean, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of ports for door open, oil level low, hydraulic oil, if you use hydraulics, um, you know, uh, light curtains, um, your, your, from here, your X, Y, Zs, uh, and your F, um, which is your focal motor, they've all got their limits on there. Um, down here you've got, um, that's the brake motor, or the brake output for, the, for a brake motor for the Z-axis. So it's all there, it's just the, the connections um, kind of confused me a little. Like I say, not a difficult thing to do, but it was a tad confusing. So there we go, it's just a short one. I told you I'd show you all my screw-ups. Um, if you look at the manual, it sort of tells you, there's your VCC, you need to tie it in. Yeah, you can see that. But I did not believe for a moment that that com wasn't connected to something, but it's actually connected to nothing. The only thing that's connected to is the is the other com right next door to it. Uh, so just a little warning, if you want to build one of these, then you can build one of these. Uh, it is fairly straightforward. Uh, the setup, which I could show you, I need to work out how to record screen so that I can give you a, um, Sorry, got um, cats having a bit of a fight. Um, so I'll do a record screen so that I can give you a bit of a rundown of how the setup works. But it is, on the whole, pretty simple. All right. So anyway, um, please like, subscribe, as you always do. Uh, thanks very much for all your input and your support. It's been fabulous. Um, it's, it's, it's boosted my confidence. And uh, finally, now I've worked through this. Um, this has made me realize now that I can actually do this. I had a little bit of a wobble um, because of the, um, in my mind and in most people's mind, laser seems quite complicated. I'm not sure it's that complicated. I think it's a slightly different way of doing things and a little bit more, uh, you know, you've got to err on the side of safety a little more. But uh, yeah, I'd say it's, it's, it's going to be good to go. We've just got to get the bits in now um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get it in the box and we'll get it running. Next thing I think is going to be uh, the frame. It's going to take that's a few weeks away. I'm still going to bung in a few more shorts. We'll see if we can get an old. Uh, we'll see if we can get an old motor running off one of these uh, a server, and if we can get it running, at least I can show you how I did it and uh, how we went, went about it, and of course where it went wrong, or where it went where it went right. Maybe uh, maybe I'm uh, I'm doing myself an injustice, but I'll never know. Anyway. Thanks again. Stay safe. God bless and see you soon. Cheers.